Do real cops actually work on the show? What are the biggest challenges the cast face daily? I'm from Minnesota, baby. I wear hats for fashion, though. Minnesota! And who sets up the craziest pranks on set? <laughs> Hi, Chihards. I'm Dylan. Let's jump right in and I'll dish the dirt. Get real. The show might be fictional, but the makers of the hit TV series pride themselves on accuracy. And this is especially true when it comes to the wardrobe. Did you know that Chicago PD is the only TV drama allowed to use real police uniforms? Seriously. Costume designer Susan Kaufman had it easy with this one when the show was given special permission by Pentagon authorities to use real Chicago police uniforms. They're even allowed to use authentic badges and insignias on their jackets and hats. I mean, that's pretty cool. Adding to the reality of it all is the fact that real cops, yes, you heard right, real cops star as extras on the show. The show is known to recruit patrol officers to appear on the show, especially all those scenes with a lot of police in them. When they're off duty, of course. Chicago PD takes accuracy so seriously, they hired real-life experts to make sure the cast look and act the part. Yep, that's right. Retired Chicago detectives work as on-set advisors. Wow. And then there's the production design. All the minor details of the set design add to the reality of the show. From the random small pieces of tape on the walls where posters used to hang, to the actual scuff marks on the floor. Not only that, they have a real weapons wall with items that were confiscated by local officers. Seriously, cool. You all know Molly's Pub, right? Well, did you know that the first two seasons were actually shot on location? That's right, you can visit the pub, whose real name is Lottie's Pub the next time you're in the Windy City. Unfortunately, filming on location proved very expensive, so the production team decided to recreate the bar in the studio at their Cinespace soundstage. Filmed in the Pilsen neighborhood around 18th Street, District 21 is an actual functioning police station that they use for all their exterior shots. Another cool tidbit, the police station is right around the corner from the featured firehouse in Chicago Fire. What else is authentic? The bona fide Chicago natives that act in this series. Leroy Hawkins, who plays Officer Kevin Atwater, says he is very lucky to be working full-time on a TV series without having to leave his hometown. It was an unexpected dream come true, Hawkins said. I think when you get into this industry and you think about getting your big break, automatically you think that you got to move from home if you don't already live in LA or New York. Another actor with deep roots in the Windy City is Jason Begay. Yes, Sergeant Hank Void himself. His history with the city includes a great-grandfather who was a district attorney and governor in Illinois, and his parents who attended the University of Chicago. His first day on the set of Chicago PD was a bittersweet one. He had just flown in from Washington where he attended his father's funeral. Begay says, It seemed something almost destined in a way. I don't put a lot of significance on symbolism or anything like that, but it seems pretty damn coincidental. And I know my parents would be very pleased and proud. Since the show is shot in real shy town locations, you may get to see your favorite actors in action. Follow the Twitter account at Filming Chicago for daily updates on filming locations. But remember, filming's on a tight schedule, so don't interfere with the crew's ability to do their job. Sophia Bush said, We try to take photos when we can. We try to stop and say hello, as long as by doing so we're not holding up the 100 plus crew members waiting for us on the set to film. Shiver me timbers. If you've ever been to Chicago, you will know that the weather is sometimes problematic. And this can be especially rough on productions that have many outdoor scenes. Most of the show's shooting takes place in real locations around the city, and much of the production happens during the winter months. This means temperatures can drop to as low as negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 30 degrees Celsius. <sighs> Leroy Hawkins, Patrick Fluger, and Jason Begay share their worst cold weather filming moment. I just remember there was when the polar vortex was happening that yes. first season. The bipolar vortex. And, <laughs> yeah. Oh God, it was so cold I couldn't move my face. <laughs> and I had tears. Frozen. Polar vortexes and frozen tears? Oh, and gee. When you think of Hank Voigt, what comes to mind? Other than his gruff voice, most likely his famous leather jacket. As slick and fashionable as that jacket might be, it's not very warm. Jason said, I've always said that the lead character in our show is Chicago. She's going to determine how the scene goes because she's the boss. But yeah, I'm freezing. But don't you worry, your favorite stars aren't freezing to death. They have some tips and tricks on keeping warm behind the scenes. How we like to stay warm is by hanging out in the car. 
um, with the heat blasted. The incredibly harsh weather may have been one of the reasons Sophia Bush decided to leave the show. She played Detective Aaron Lindsay for the first four seasons and said the unrelenting Chicago cold was a reason she was very unhappy on set. It was really just physically hard, but the culture protected it and the culture said this is just what it is and get the job done, she said in an interview with the Chicago Tribune. From snow to rain to wind, Chicago has it all, which obviously makes filming very unpredictable. Basically, it was raining for like four hours, like thunder and lightning, so we couldn't film. Now we're filming, it's sunny, but it's so windy that you can't hear anything. Thanks, Chicago. I mean, it's not known as the Windy City for nothing. Bosom Buddies Even though cast members have left over the years, the team still remains very close. One friendship that seems to have been written in the stars? Jesse Lee Soffer and Patrick Pfluger. The pair were originally cast as brothers in the unaired pilot of The Hatfields and McCoys. Another bizarre coincidence, Sophia Bush was cast as their sister. Small world. Not even a few months later, the trio were reunited when they were all cast in Chicago PD. Their bromance is aspirational, just look at their social media. And Patrick's friendship with LaRoyce, nicknamed Royce, is just as cute. The two have even gone on holiday to Minnesota together, Patrick's home state. How sweet is this Facebook post where LaRoyce tagged Patrick as his older brother? But they're not the only ones. Marina Scorsati, who plays Kim Burgess, has a really close friendship with Sophia Bush. How adorable are they? Marina says it was especially hard for her when Sophia left the show. She was away on maternity leave at the time, so when she came back, Sophia's character Aaron had already left. Marina and Burgess are both equally sad, she said. Marina got a definite goodbye. But Sophie and I are still very close, so it's not a goodbye. But for Burgess, I feel like she didn't even have the courtesy to say goodbye, she commented. Aww. Good, clean fun. The show might deal with serious issues such as law enforcement and criminal justice, but behind the scenes, the cast and crew like to have some fun. Tracy Spiridakos, who plays Haley Upton, is known for her pranking on set. Apparently, she's quite the goofball. But she's not the only one who likes to have a little fun. Just check out Jesse and LaRoyce having a laugh. Not only do they beatbox. And sing. Let us march on till victory is <laughs> But they also dance. <laughs> and then there was the stunt that didn't go as planned. Try not to laugh. <laughs> it didn't work! <laughs> the story behind the fiasco? Well, it turns out Patrick was trying out a protective cup that they use for stunts on the show. He wanted to film Jesse kicking him and walking away like he was the Man of Steel himself. Unfortunately for Patrick, you have to be standing in a certain position for the gear to actually work, and Patrick wasn't. Jesse wasn't holding back with that kick either. Or as Jesse puts it, and instead of standing straight up like he was supposed to, he kind of bent his knees a little, and I just made full contact. Boys will be boys, I guess. Want to know more about your favorite American procedural? Check out our other videos about the one Chicago family. Subscribe, stay tuned, and be awesome.